No, they cannot be affect. They cannot be easily be manipulated or affected by their opponents. They have been playing against many of the top teams in the region. This mm -hmm. is not their first dance at all. Yeah, not their first rodeo. Not not first rodeo. Lusty seems to have walked into the wrong street there, my friend. Wolf, you were saying. Yeah. That's right. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you ask me, will they be affected by what the Philippines are doing? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. Maybe they, it forces them to react. But no, Myanmar are going to play how they play Mobile Legends for the longest time. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, as we say, look at this. A mirror from Flaptizi and Yellow Flash and Royal Milk here. They're stealing each other's orange. I wonder if Flaptizi got it because he's walking through a weird street. And indeed he does. Wow, Sham Sham Sham! Charging this up, dancing. Oh, that's fine. That's uh, really. I I'm surprised. For that TZ, you, we call him the super rookie, right? Mm -hmm. Or uh, the guy who doesn't sleep at all. Because I'm, wa nope. I'm watching all of his streams as. Yeah, for like an average of 10 hours a day. Yeah. Carl Tizi and Flap Tizi, they call themselves the TZ Nation. Mm -hmm. I saw them stream yesterday. I think you called them the TZ Brothers too, right? The yesterday. Brothers, yeah. They they went in and uh, uh, made a group called the TZ Nation and they were streaming yesterday. And you know what? They have stolen buffs. There's a purple buff now on Carl Tizi, not, not existent on Myanmar. First oh! First blood, that is going to be Hiccup going down. Sham 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 being threatened here by three members. They just do not have the bite. As you were saying, Wolf, uh, that is indeed a steal, but off camera, Yellow Flash going down. Flap TZ. Not much DK can do, right? Indeed. I'm, I'm looking at the stats now. It's looking wonderful for Team Philippines because I had the chance to go to the lobby itself and I'm seeing a big EXP lead by Team Philippines. Mm. About about 1200 which means that by 2 minutes 30 they'll have all of their ultimates available almost all of their ultimates available by 3 minutes perhaps and Myanmar is oh. still away nice the, uh, nice stop though coming out from royal milk on the stun now they want to go for lusty i think they'll have enough damage for this they're chasing but with few around there's the stun no ultimate though from the alice at least they stop the push but they lose their very important hero Rebo on this Kagura. Yep, I mean, Royal Milk caught him off guard just at the That's perfect right. angle. And of course, DK was there to help with the damage output. But Carl Dizzy looks like threatening the orange. Sham 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 able to take it. Not gonna commit the Tempest of Blades just yet. They know that the Esmeralda is a little chunkier than usual here with the shields. I think their next target is gonna be here in their own jungle. Oh, this is Lusty trying to protect the orange. DK looking low. Yellow Flash is going to drive through. Wait, Lusty, trying to catch him. Few with the teleport. Oh, wow. Carl Tizi, though, chooses to go for his purple himself. Few Ooh. getting kicked out by Royal Milk. There's the rotation onto Rebo. Wow. Lusty keeping Royal Milk down. Carl Tizi, gonna chase Yellow Flash. It's Assassin on Assassin, Violent Wolf. DK might be up next here. Oh, Flicker's out. I think nice Flicker. Yeah, nice usage of the wall, actually, even against the Ling. Now Royal Milk is going to be in trouble, but also uses the Flicker. Flicker all around. It's going to be the purple buff secured by the Esmeralda, Sham Sham Sham. So at least they'll not give more to Carl Tizi, who's having a hell of a day now with 2.4k this belt. Raptor Machete, even a turtle, and might be even an additional kill. Sham 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 in trouble. There's a very nice pullback from Hikam and the Falling Star with the combo it up. But the Tempest of Blades keeps Carl TZ up and running. Flap TZ in trouble. What an injector to punish Lusty. But even better, that rotation coming out from the Luigi. Man, I, I can't keep up. These guys are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very quick. Very quick the way that they're playing. And as we were speaking, man, down bottom, few able to push that tier one turret. But Royal Milk going to go mirror up top as well. Now, uh, again, something to mention here, Hiccup, more than just the support, actually very painful when it comes to dropping those rotations. He is a Luo Yi on the Magic Worship, so you can expect some good burst. Oh. By the way, I, get, I just want to comment something that uh, I saw Flap doing during his stream with the Thams. He's doing this Cursed Helmet priority for the Thams. Huh. Makes sense. Now look at few though, tanking crew it act like a, uh, a discount Thams, mm -hmm. but with all of the burst coming up from Myanmar, they're able to control him. 
Yeah. I mean, it's a discount towns with a little more mobility. Off-camera kill on a to Royal Milk. The revenge is real here. Vindicated is Team Myanmar. Team Philippines, though, they're looking for more. Uh, at least they are keeping Carl TZ alive and well-fed. Yeah. Not the same story for Yellow Flash, sitting at 0 2 1 uh, in under six minutes. Kind of want to know and understand more of this Curse Helmet Rush coming out from Flautizia on the Thames because normally you do like Bloodlust Axe or mm. something like Queen's Wings, but for sure. he opts to go for the Curse Helmet first. Just kind of, you know what? It, it amps up his tank ability, which also yep. means that he can frontline for his team. And because if clear. they're looking at Team Philippines and Wave Clear, yeah, that's true. If you're looking at Team Philippines, they don't have that solid, rigid tank at the front lines that you can have when you're looking at Kufra. I always say that whenever you draft Kufra, it's always better if there's someone else who's already in front of your opponents before you jump with the Tyrant's yep. Rage. Yep, yep. You want to keep him pinned down so that your mm -hmm. Tyrant's Rage does maximum damage, the okay. best efficient stuns. And Lusty jumping in, being thrown up into the air. Yellow Flash dropping a bit of damage there. Orange buff on him. There's the rotation set in by Hiccup. Now the burst is real. Turtle stolen here by Yellow Flash. It's his, but Carl TZ takes DK. Lusty gonna go down. Yellow Flash taken out by Flap TZ. Has the Inferno up and going. This is still following up. Royal Milk knocks out Carl TZ. What a shutdown. And wow. Flap TZ here might be next. Only fast doing so well for Royal Milk here. Rotation helping out from Hiccup. And that's going to be a two for one. Myanmar won out in the long run, but Yellow Flash is finding it hard to come back. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing now from both teams. You see one good play from another team, then another from the opposing team, then another on that team. That They're just literally trying to outplay each other in such good fashion. It makes it so good. Now, Rebo. is going to try to survive against Free. Look at the tower juggle coming out from Myanmar. Oh. They eventually got the, the turret. And they take out Rebo as well. Did you see how good was that? Um, one of, yeah. This is what I'm telling you. Both of these teams deserve to be at the playoffs. Yeah. And it's it's hard to choose. No who doubt. Has, who, who deserves it better in the upper bracket or the lower bracket, man? No doubt. No doubt. It's a rally here. Well, back and forth, back and forth, like a tennis match or a boxing match from the olden days that goes up to like 24 rounds. <laughs> Well, I, I do hope that this stays under 30. But nonetheless, big fight here in Philippines jungle. That's going to be few knocked up. Tempest of Blazing by Cartesi. They're going to burst down few. Hiccup gets the kill and Yellow Flash barely gets away. Now up next, Flaptizi targeted by DK here. And there's the ejector. Hiccup is back. He wants more. Flaptizi pops the Inferno, Ooh. but the burst is not going to be enough. He survives. Cham 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 catches him. He says, you're mine. And that's going to be a two for none. Myanmar wins that exchange it's not over sam 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 just pokes with the falling star one i'll be punished though but rebo with the yin yang overturn cannot the uh connects on the kill onto sham 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 the esmeralda i i i am so amazed of both with both of these teams and myanmar they have already downloaded philippines i i say downloaded because now they know how to deal with this lineup they never grouped up i mean they're still in one area but they're not in range of each other so that the AOE damage of Philippines will not be as potent as promised. Myanmar, with the, with the formation that they're doing, with the spacing that they're doing, it, it's so good. It's like blocking from a theater play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody in their place at the right time now. Flaptizi caught out once more. Is the Inferno going to be enough? Maybe not. He catches himself. He says, I'm out of here, guys. But Yellow Flash is in trouble. Oh, Cartizi going to take him down. But for a split second, I thought he was going to survive. But DK gets the kill. A shutdown onto the Ling. But as we were saying, that Wolf Royal Milk was just working the turrets and he was able to take one. Can he get away though? Here's DK to the rescue. Kick up as well. DK, smart missiles, throwing out Flatizi through the wall and survives, walking away like nothing happened. What is this game, Leo? This is like this, the Super Saiyans. Did I pronounce it correctly? The Super Saiyans yes. or Saiyajians, whatever. Oh, they're. They're on their highest level of play. Man, who would have thought to flicker like that? Royal Milk, what a what a magician this guy is. Like Don't a Houdini. Like an ML Houdini. Houdini. Now, few. 
having to use the flicker just to run away. In comes Cartesi. It's back once again in action. Falling Star Moon, who stole the buff. I don't care anymore. As the good ultimate from Lusty is not even enough for Myanmar to lose that fight. In fact, Myanmar can get away with this. Aggressiveness. Cartesi able to secure that purple buff. Myanmar still stays alive. Again, Wolf, you talked about how they're blocking, their spacing, their positioning is just out of this world right now, Team Myanmar. And just like that, they're forcing Carl TZ to use the Tempest of Blades as a gap closer or as a way to even just get the fights. And yeah. right now, Myanmar, it's, it's, it's their ball, man. They have possession. It's in their court. It's their shot to make. Oh. Team Philippines, no. they're struggling for the steal. You can you can say how uh, much the Team Philippines has come back from worse, but right now, at least for the past three or four minutes, this has been Myanmar's game. They're up 3,000 gold, they're up three turrets, and so far, they've been winning a lot of their fights. I thought we could breathe for a moment, but I was going to say, finally we can breathe? And then <laughs> there was another fight from Team Philippines in Myanmar. But now, they want to go for a hiccup. They jump in with Lusty. Do they have the damage? Can they take oh. a loop? There's the shutdown. Finally, a few jumps into the fray, right? Very nice timing from Philippines. Now they can go for another Thirsty Tempest of Blades, catching Yellow Flash. And the Yellow Flash is down. Now they're jumping in for more. DK in trouble, gets away. Royal Mix fights Gagura. Very nicely done, but he might be punished. But the Falling Star Moon stops that from happening. They want to go for Kaltisi. Damage though, with so many members of Team Philippines, they are able to overwhelm Royal Milk. Now, Sham Sham Sham, is he the actually the one who's actually in trouble? Maybe not, as he runs away from the mess of Team Philippines. DK stays, there's the ejector. Myanmar did not decide to fight. Lusty wants Whoa. to go for it. He gets in, nice tyrants race as well. Look at the spacing. Now DK catches Flap TZ. Flap TZ down. Lusty in trouble. Receiving the, the missiles now. But the rest of Team Philippines is say, let's get out of here. Oh, wow. So Team Philippines taking a page out of Myanmar's book, forcing fights, staying around much, much longer than they should have in finding those windows. But Flap TZ pays the price. It seems like now Team Myanmar understands and they know that Flap TZ has this tendency to, to stay and to go to places where he has no business and they can burst them down. Now, the question here, Wolf, is who can take this Lord? This Lord here, it, it's prime real estate, man. It, it, it's, a, it's a bit of the map that everybody wants a piece of and nobody will give up. Where is the window? It seems like Myanmar just has as much a chance as Team Philippines right here. That's right, because both of them have retribution. And even as if they want it, um, they, they badly want it, right? That's true. But they also cannot just straight up go there. They have yeah, to enforce it. Oh, wait. Royal Milk is in trouble. Off camera, oh. Royal Milk is in trouble. Oh, let's see. But in the middle, oh. that's Fuel also in trouble. Pops the ultimate, and now he's not. Cartesi just, oh. he knows that he has the damage. Oh, yeah. Tempest of Blaze is available. Fishes for the last and then takes him down in another slice. But the ultimate oh. from Mika. Diversion out. Diversion, Diversion out. out. Oh, spicy! Now, Dusty is gonna be got by another injector, which kind of prompts Team Philippines to kind of rethink their take on the Lord DK. Though might have just overstepped his grounds as the the, the Ling will split push in exchange. Now DK will be taken out as Lusty gives away his life, but with more members of Philippines ready around the Lord. Are yeah. they gonna start it, Leo? Yeah, are they fast enough? That's the question. It's surprising how this turret is still standing. I could have sworn that this team fight was going to yeah. cause that turret to go down. But look at this hiccup in Sham Sham Sham. They are in prime position. Oh, okay. Carl is gonna keep it. Tempest of Blade is gonna be here. There is the rotation. And they get the portal out. Flap Easy looking low. Can Sham 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 get it? There you go. Few knocked out by Royal Milk. Only, only fast doing so much work. Is that an orange buff on it Royal is. Milk? Oh, we're never gonna know because Carl Easy knocked him out. Oh. And now Man. that is a one for one, but big win here for Team Philippines. They got the Lord. You know what, uh, Leo? Big play, oh, big plays need to come to, from big players. At tough times, you have to rely on your superstar. And I think Cartesi, if this was a different game, the superstar trigger has already started. And I think sure. that for, from the past few minutes, the fact 
that Cartesi is staying alive. And now with nine kills, two deaths, two assists, those crucial picks, pick offs on yellow flashes, Lancelot. This keeps Team Philippines alive. In fact, mm -hmm. they have overtaken the economic battle over Team Myanmar. Yeah. Now the question is, can Team Myanmar last with Flapteezy pushing up top and the Lord down bottom? It seems like the answer is no, because they'll lose two turrets in the process. Ooh, the tables have turned so quickly here. And yeah, they are essentially polar opposites. Yellow Flash and Carl Easy, 9 2 2 on the Ling. Yellow Flash is Lancelot not having a great day. 0 6 3. It seems like Carl Easy picked up a golden star on his That's way right. here to game number one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just waiting for another team fight to explode. We're waiting, and it's Team Philippines who has the initiative here. They they can choose. This is weird because the killing spree is available for Yellow Flash. It's it's very dependent. It's literally dependent on you getting the kills. With zero kills for Yellow Flash, no yeah. wonder he's not oh. that impactful now. But Sam 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 gonna be caught so tanky though. The Philippines, there's not much that they can deal with this Esmeralda unless the burst comes from Cartesi, who is just. It, it's like the it's like the Batman that you cannot see, but you know he's around. Yeah, he's around the walls, and that's how scared me and Mark can be. You know mm -hmm. that scene from from Batman Begins where everybody's just afraid yes. of the Batman. This yes. is how they're feeling right now. Yep, definitely. Uh, Team Myanmar here from uh, owning the city. Now they just have to barely get by. Now ejector onto Lusty. Defensive DK is being here. Um, his, his ejectors for once lethal. Now they're just there to, to keep uh, to the Team Philippines at bay. And again, I cannot express how fast the tables have turned here on Team Myanmar from what seemed to be what just 500 gold now it's at 3000 well 3000 gold team philippines is ahead and oh wow look at these items now this, yeah this is the link Cartesi just completely buying everything he needs he's all set all set and ready to go i think he can sell his boots right now and just go straight up for whatever item he needs the chunk oh that that is erased from the earth now, can they get more? They found Royal Milk, flickers to the south. Can he stay found Royal Milk, flickers to the south. Can he still fight this? It's looking nope. bad. No, he cannot. He is taken out. Now, can they go for more? Three versus five. Team Philippines, they still are ready to fight. They will push in the middle, Leo. Few just taunts into the front lines. Anybody who oversteps from side of Myanmar will be destroyed. Oh. No, that's the last turret in mid before the base. And up top, it looks like Sham 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 is barely going to get away. This orange here going to go to Carl TZ once more. And, uh, oh, no, he's giving it over to Flap TZ. The TZ brothers, they know how to share. <laughs> they, know, they know the importance of having that. That's, that's like an item at this point mm -hmm. of bonus that you get. For sure, true damage. But you know what? This is what amazes me. Myanmar still haven't lost an inhibitor turret. Like a base turret. It's, they're, they're all still intact. Yeah. So it's not oh. over. With a second Lord available, it's as good as the first one. Mm -hmm. And it's also as difficult as the first one com uh, okay. when it comes to like dealing with it. Yeah. Both have retribution. The problem is items, they aren't a plenty now for Team Philippines compared uh, sorry, for Myanmar as compared to Philippines. Like yeah. both of them have sources of retribution, but Yellow Flash cannot even go to the fight because he's that scared of Cartesi. Yeah, it's 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 he, he only goes there for cleanup. Like right now, that's how gimped Team Myanmar is and they have to figure out a way to get in there. And wow, this gold lead is just astronomical now, Wolf. 7,000 gold at 19 minutes. Um, Team Myanmar getting choked out of their resources and things are looking dire. As even Lusty here, the support for Team Philippines is just one item short of filling up all slots. And finally, we get a quiet. You know what? You wished for a 30 minute game. Maybe we can see it. But with that oh. Royal Milk being picked apart, it was doing so well in the early stage of the game. But with all of these unnecessary deaths for Team Myanmar, they are slowly losing control of the map. And this yeah. is the most crucial timing, man. Yeah. It's 19 minutes, second Lord available, 
and you don't have royal milk. Oh, DK getting bursted down as he tries to go for the check-in. His immortality gonna pop down. He goes, Rebo gets his revenge. Hiccup from the back lines. Few sneaks him out. Sham, sham, sham. Gonna be hit with the Tempest of Blades. The TZ brothers pass. Ali, oop, there's a kill. Yellow Flash here, the only survivor left. The only thing he can do with his time is to defend down bottom. And this Lord, well, it's free. It's definitely free. This time, it's... It's yellow, the old, <laughs> yellow flash not dying, but the fact that he didn't have impact in the fight, mm -hmm. he might have, as well have just died, right? I mean, now he's gonna fish, fish off. Oh, Phil, he knows exactly that this is such a good counter, and what the timing! With the first skill coming out from the Alice, and this is how you say that the hero is back after a lot of training, a lot of theory crafting from few. He's been playing with this even in their streams. He knows that there's there's an importance of that instant stun that you get. Yep, yep, yep. Part of her kit is just so essential at this part, uh, uh, at, at this time in Mobile Legends esports history. And yep, as it is, this Lord is marching down mid perfectly as they smash that inhibitor turret. Now bottom, it's uh, about mid uh, and top the same way, but it might be the last siege here, Wolf, as Yellow Flash is missing in action. He is waiting for the respawn. There you go, Tempest of Blades by Kalteezy from the back line. Few once more going for round two, going into Hiccup and destroying him. And up next might be DK. Down he goes, Rebo gets a kill once more. Royal Milk from behind, no ults. No protection for him here. Able to dash out, flicker through the bouncing ball. There is a Tyrant's Rage and Immortality popped here. He's gonna come back just to be knocked down once more. Hold up, he survives, gets it into the uh, into uh, the uh, platform to heal himself up. But now mm -hmm. Tempest of Blades one more time. Sham 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 goes down. It's Royal Milk again back for more. I don't think he's gonna survive this one, Wolf. No, after so. oh. The way of the dragon onto Rebo, he does get a kill, but he's going to die himself. But the base is going to get it first. Team Philippines wins this battle.